If you want to know how to get unlimited warehouse games and not get your shooting and finishing stuck on zero, like and subscribe within the next five seconds. Otherwise, you might get your warehouse games glitched or you might just run out. I wouldn't risk it. Yo YouTube, it's your boy Premiere, back today with another banger. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over this full tutorial on how to get unlimited games in the warehouse. First things first though, before we get too far into the video, smash that like button if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and make sure to turn the post studies on so you'll miss the next banger. Now getting straight into the video, a lot of people probably think I'm skating randomly around the city. No, I am skating exactly to the point you need to start for this video. Skate all the way right in between the Gatorade facility and the Northside Knights wheel spin. Right there is exactly where you need to be. Then follow my mouse. I'm going to have a pop up here on the screen. Look at that as well. This is the exact road you need to follow. There is an exact road that you can literally follow and you will always see someone on there if you have a warehouse game available. It's very confusing for me at times, but this is where you start and this is where you go. You literally just follow this road right here and you will 100% find an orange exclamation mark. If you find a blue exclamation mark, it is not what you were looking for. But round this corner right here and start on this road. Literally, don't turn right, don't turn left. Loop around it and you will 100% find a challenge that you haven't done already if you have one available. For the next step, as you actually find the person, when they give you the challenge, make sure you know who you are playing and make sure you know who is on your team. I've had some nightmare matchups having to play Jordan, having to play Scottie Pippen. This time they're on my team. This is literally so ideal for me. We're playing Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, and Robert Parrish. It's literally an ideal matchup for me. You're going to need a certain team. You need a good team. You cannot do this and have a bad team. I've tried doing this and having a bad team and it does not work. For the next step, load in, spawn in wherever your warehouse challenge is. For me, my warehouse challenge is in the Southside Vipers. I'm gonna spawn in right here at the stores, and from there, it will be the closest. They, if, you, if you have a warehouse challenge in the Wildcats, don't skate all the way across from the Beast of the East. Change your spawn point and help yourself out. Make your life easier. Also, apply any badges that you might have. Now, once you have done that, it's pretty simple. From here, you're going to go and actually start the warehouse challenge. Now, just so you know, make sure you watch this full video all the way through. For all the loyals, I will be rewarding y'all with my secret method on how I do this, how I ensure my lobs every single time. A lot of people get frustrated when they're throwing lobs and they don't know the best method. Sometimes you can't even get the AI. You'll do a pick and roll and the AI won't even roll. I know that can be really frustrating. Make sure you watch this full video all the way through and I will be giving y'all my best method on how to make sure they go for the lob because I know that can be really frustrating and I got a method for y'all to help you out. So make sure to watch the full video all the way through so you don't miss the method. Now, as you actually get into the game, it is very simple. You need to throw four lobs. If you don't know about it already, you're going to need to throw four lobs to ensure that you can play the game over and over. That is the key. That is how you're going to be able to play each game over and over and over. You can literally win the warehouse game and if you throw four lobs or catch four lobs in that game, you're going to be allowed to play that game over and over and over. So it's very important when you are in the game, you get off four lobs thrown or you either catch four lobs. It is very simple. Throw or catch four lobs in order to play the same game over and over and over. Now, as you can see, I just fast forward it. It can get really frustrating. A lot of the times the computer is gonna sit in the paint. It's almost like they know exactly what we're trying to do and they're just gonna go for it. So my best advice, try to avoid the half court set. The less you're in the half court, the more you're on the fast break, the more you have the computer cutting, all that type of stuff, it makes your life easier. I promise you wanna avoid the half court set. It literally is a nightmare. The computers you can try, sometimes they won't even roll. So you wanna play good defense, 
right here, I tried to hold LT, end up throwing the lob to myself even when he cut. It is so frustrating with these AIs. I don't know what it is. You can literally call a pick and roll and they won't even roll to the paint. It makes zero sense. So I'm being honest, if you're trying this method, be prepared to throw some turnovers. I'm just gonna be real. A lot of YouTubers might try to cut it out, but it's part of it. Just speed through it and just act like it doesn't happen. On to the next, try to get the stop. It's that simple. All you have to do is throw four lobs. At times, I've literally thrown up to 12 turnovers. So I promise if you get frustrated with this method, just try not to get frustrated. It can, I promise I have done worse. Just try your best to get stops on defense and run the fast break to avoid the half court in the second part of this video after you see all the badge progression i got just from this one game you will be able to see the method i break it down a lot more in depth in the second part in the actual second gameplay of this video but on defense i'm guarding robert Parrish. as you can see make the ai shoot the ball i don't care if it's steph curry i don't care if it's kevin durant make the ai shoot the ball on defense press them up the court go for the on ball steal you're gonna get fouls that's part of it just try to play the best defense get on the fast break and then once you have thrown your four lobs i recommend calling a screen doing a one dribble crossover and then currying the opposite way once you get the ball on the fast break as well you can literally just go for a blinder shot do a nice little hey 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 curry green man you know my body stop playing sometimes it will literally seem like the ai is about to get like a 40 or a 50 but it's the ai so just pull in their face hit them with a little curry you know you're gonna break <laughs> i did fast forward through the breaks i didn't skip up i fast forward through them just do a one dribble curry into the screen you want to do your one dribble away from the screen and then you want to do your curry like you're dribbling through the screen every time the ai is going to sink and try to go under the screen if not you simply want to reset and go for that sometimes you can literally just dribble up the court do a snatch back and curry out of it sometimes i was able to get open off that but it wasn't consistent enough i recommend definitely doing the pick method that we just talked about right here though game on the line i have a sharp take i'm just pulling snatch back green a man you know my body 71 percent it felt like i missed a lot more and when you're out here with no badges it can get really frustrating but almost 4k towards the shooting almost 11k towards the playmaking 3k towards the defensive if you stack this up over and over and over this will add up make sure to run this method but when you get out of the warehouse do not move if you move it could glitch it only thing you can do upgrade your player put on your badges yada yada i do not recommend moving if you need to get on the game literally dashboard get on another player if you got to this player though when you're doing this glitch tutorial whatever you want to call it you're locked in here at the warehouse i do not recommend moving after you do this i have heard it can mess it up now for the second part of the video for all the loyals who are watching this video all the way through i just want you to know i appreciate you and i love you premier worldwide we are rocking strong the grind to 20k has started we have officially hit 10k i love y'all man but for the start of this method dribble to like right on the block there do the curry slide let him roll wait a second and throw the lob if you try a normal pick and roll from the top of the key you can try it from almost behind half court sometimes it's just gonna glitch and they're not gonna roll to the paint even if you have it set to making the ai roll it's one of the most frustrating things so make sure to do this method that i'm showing you with going towards the block not getting on the block but getting close enough to it then you want to do a curry slide wait a second throw the lob and then obviously on the fast break if you can push that fast break it's gonna save you a lot of frustration being in the half court you want to avoid it at all costs if you can throw your four lobs on the fast break throw your four lobs on the fast break it's that simple but for everyone who had to go through it like me and had to deal with the half court stress frustration this method is for you dribble right down to the block right here i tried a little lt tried to see if i could get him to just cut like it was court conquer you know something like that it is what it is he's not going to go for it dribble right in front of the block you see kind of midway there between the three-point line and then throw the lob that was a good lob kevin McHale just stole at that time it is what it is that was a good example of the play come down here larry i think he ends up chucking this one 56 contested just make sure larry has the ball try to deny everyone else larry will shoot the ball every single time and it just doesn't matter he will break once again though go like right in between the three-point line oh my gosh i literally forgot larry bird was being so annoying when i was trying to record this video larry the legend you know they don't call him larry the legend for nothing kevin McHale, though put it down my build with 95 steel hits different 
I, I go into the LT there. I thought he's going to cut, you know, hoping we can get some fast break action. That's not an option. Right in between the little three-point line and the block, you want to curry slide. You want to wait for them to switch, whatever. You'll see the opening and just throw the lob every single time. If they're standing there on the block, they do not have an option to run away towards the three-point line. For some reason, though, when you do a normal pick and roll 2K, I don't know what it is. They are going towards the three-point line. They're popping, and it is very frustrating as a content creator, as a player of the game, just trying to do this. That is very frustrating to have to deal with. Once again, though, this time we're almost on the block. Just showing y'all can work wherever. Just throw it right there. If it's open, man, throw it. You get your four lobs. Get them out of the way. Even in the half court, it can be done. That was a very efficient. I did not skip any of that gameplay, too. So for all the haters out there, that wasn't even skip. Just had to let you know there was no cuts, no nothing. Just a little speed edits to make the video go by a little faster. This is already almost an 11 and a half minute video. You know, I didn't want to, you all to have to watch it any longer than you absolutely had to, to get the method out of it. For all the loyals who are watching this video all the way through, love you and appreciate you. But for the shooting badges side of things, you already know what to do. You can do the one dribble curry slide. You can do the snatch back curry slide. You can literally just come straight up the court on the fast break. Like, look right here, nobody's on me. I'm just gonna come straight up the court. Quick stop, green A. You know my body, man. That's all for today's video. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're a loyal who watched this video all the way through, comment down below. Thanks, this worked for me. That's all. It's your boy Premier, and I'm out. Peace. It's getting hard to keep composure. They keep trying me. I came from nothing. Now they bumping my songs overseas. I remember when I first started. They do dirt on me. And now they say.